heard about um, Ugly Love, and I'm gonna do a review on it pretty soon. I, <laughs> mm, y'all might not like me. Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Hmm? Maybe I'm the drama. Y'all might not like me when I do that review. Hey guys, it is me, Nyasia Brown, here with another video, and welcome to my channel, Caffeinated Nooks. Today we have another video for my people out there, okay? And this video is actually a review. Now if you read the title, you know what review this is. And this review is on Colleen Hoover's Ugly Love. I have a lot of opinions about this book and I have a lot of mixed feelings about this book. But let's get straight into my rating first before I let you guys know why I got this book and my feelings on it and whatnot. I gave this book a 3 to 3.4 starts. Very wishy-washy depending on how I feel about the book on that specific day to be honest. I'm gonna read you guys the synopsis in the back just so you guys can have like a kind of general overview because like I always say no one can summarize the book better than the author can summarize the book. So it's not exactly love at first sight for Tate Collins when she meets the tormented and secretive Miles Archer. I'm so happy these are names that I can pronounce because books be really dragging it. Um, they wouldn't even go so far as to consider themselves friends. The, the only thing Tate and Miles have in common is a mutual physical attraction that can't be denied. Once their desires are out in the open, they realize they may have stumbled upon the perfect no strings arrangement. He isn't looking for love and she doesn't have time for it. So that leaves just the sex. What they've got can be surprisingly satisfying. As long as Tate can stick to the two rules Miles has for her. Never ask about my past and don't expect a future. They think they can handle it, but everything is different when real emotions start to change the equation. Hearts get infiltrated, promises get broken, rules get shattered, and love gets ugly. Okay, I got this book because TikTok. I'm so happy that you guys enjoy this book, but I was not very happy with this book. And I'm going to chop it up to me not really enjoying these kinds of books. Like, I really do not enjoy it. You guys know my genre. I like fantasy. I like dystopian. I like sci-fi. I like young adults. This was none of that. And while it was a read that I could not technically put down because a lot was happening it wasn't a read that I sat down and thoroughly enjoyed and was like I wish there was more of this I usually wish there are more books and this was not it I don't want to come on here and do my second review as a negative review because truly I think her writing style is really good for the things that she writes I just personally was not interested in the story we have Miles first of all I hate it when because it was like every chapter is switched in between Tate and Miles so one chapter was Tate next chapter was Miles and it was from their different points of views and Tate's was present and Miles was past with his first relationship I didn't like Miles's point of view I literally wrote several times in Miles's point of view uh this is kind of sounding like you it was like she loves me I love her I know you love me I'm like this is giving you tea this is getting obsession like I mm, and you wouldn't believe that it's the same person back then as the same person now however there's a lot that happens to this young man and I understand why he changed but he was like annoying Tate was also annoying because like there was this part in the book and if you read the book you knew she, I wouldn't have went back to him after that and she just took him back oh my god that part pissed me off there were so many parts in this book that were like genuinely pissing me off and I want to say that because when I expressed this to my friend she was like then that means you must have liked it because a book that puts you through a range of emotions is usually a good book I'm like yes the book is not terrible it's just not my type of book like there were things that the characters did that I was like but then there were things that they did that I was like oh that's cute that's lovely I love that so this book wasn't terrible I'm just voicing my opinions in the terms that it it gave me like it put me through a roller coaster of emotions like I was like okay 
oh this is cute i like that oh look at them look at them and then it was like oh no because i'm gonna have to pull up on miles and really put the hands on him because what is he really doing and i was like oh no because i have to have a talk with my girl today because she is not this stupid it put me through so many emotions and i'm i'm guessing that's what miss colleen hoover wanted me to go through all these emotions and experience all this but i'm like girl let me breathe let me enjoy my life let me enjoy my peace and then we could talk because at this point i'm not gonna say that i didn't enjoy it i did definitely enjoy it it was like one of those books that i didn't want to put down and i don't know if it was because like it was pissing me off or because i it was pissed it, it was pissing me off that's why i put it i couldn't put down because this scene is pissing me off let me see what their next move is it was not a bad story so if you guys are looking into it and you guys aren't into these kinds of books and you guys are like hey i want to check it out even though i'm not into these books it's gonna piss you off it's gonna make you want to throw the book across the room then come back pick it off dust it off say i'm sorry and continue reading it like it's one of those books and i think her writing style fits these books really well i i will say this again i did not like miles point of view i feel like it was a bit obsessive i feel like it was a bit annoying i feel like seeing him in the present and seeing him in the past was just like it was cringy it was giving me you and i i'm not i'm not against you but i wasn't expecting you when i started reading this i don't like his part i will i will not i will stand on that hill until i die i do not like his point of view maybe if i reread it let me re let me reread a chapter actually I, I i'm not even gonna do it i don't like miles's point of view i love tate's point of view seeing things through her eyes her understanding and stuff was really interesting i don't hate miles i feel like people have this thing from miles slander when he was like very forthright with what he was saying like like he said don't ask about my past and don't expect a future and he was very forthright he's like this is just sex babes and she was falling it's like okay i understand that your feelings are invested but then i also understand that he was extremely straightforward with what he said now his actions may have not matched up with that but it, like where's the end and and to be honest and i'm gonna say this and this is what made the book so good for me because i did not know how it was gonna end like i did not expect it to end the way that it ended i literally thought that it was gonna have like the worst ending i was like oh shit these people are gonna be heartbroken she's gonna never love anybody again she's gonna turn into him and he's gonna be miserable for the rest of his life i thought this was gonna end in the worst possible way okay maybe somebody was gonna die maybe i didn't know what was gonna happen because the way this story was going it was like like it was going everywhere like it was like a roller coaster so i didn't know how it was gonna end but when i got to the ending i was like i'm not mad at it because you see I don't know if it's progression, bitch. It's not really progression. I don't really care if it's a bad ending, but I felt like they deserved a happy ending after all the shit that both of them went through. And I was pleasantly surprised when I saw that they kind of had a, a decent ending. And I'm happy for them, okay? Because I was expecting this to go in the worst way possible. I was like, this is not going to end good. It can end good. This, there, there's no way miss colleen hoover if you were intending to put us through this roller coaster of emotions and i'm sure you were intending to do that you did that it had me cry it had me want to fight it had me feel sad for certain things that people were going through it had me like ooh butterflies it had me i don't know if it was really happy maybe the ending i was happy but the emotions were running high maybe i should give it a higher ranking but i'm not so it's gonna be a 3.5 for me because i just really disliked miles's point of view i really disliked it and i understand what she was trying to do his was like written in like a poetry type of thing like looking all like poetic but i hated his point of view and i enjoy miles i just didn't like past miles and it was very obsessive it was really weird and oh oh i wish i could i'm gonna start like a little group chat on my instagram let me know if you want to enter it where I'm, I'm just gonna talk about books and whoever read the book we will talk about it because there were things in here about miles's family that made me really want to oh what what i really wanted to fight every time i heard about his family it was a good book one thing about me is if it's a bad book I'm not highlighting and I highlight it so it was a good book it was a good read it was something different and I do have another one of her books I'll, I'll be posting a book haul like a holiday book haul stuff that I got like 
during the holiday and what I got with my holiday money, which were books. So you guys will see that I have another one of her books. This was a good read. It kept me engaged. I didn't want to put it down. There were things I didn't like, such as Miles's point of view, and I will stand on that hill again, like I said. Um, there were things that I thought that the characters did stupidly. There were things that I didn't like about each character, but overall, <laughs> I think it was a good read and it kept me really engaged and it really did keep me on my toes because I didn't know what was gonna happen next so 3.5 literally like I was at work when there were no customers and I was like okay next time page let me turn the page a really good book for those of you who like this genre if you are into the same genres as me this book I think is a pretty decent read if you want to take a break from that and you want to start going into different territory. It does have a little spiciness in it. It do it does have a little sexy time scenes in it. So if you're not used to reading that kind of thing, then it's gonna surprise you because I'm not used to reading that kind of thing. I don't read smut. I mean I don't mind. I don't really care. Like it's not gonna but when I first read it, I was like, oh, they weren't playing. Well written. Like not like the best written book I've ever read, okay? I enjoyed reading it I think the words were of ease to read like there's books that like you get into that the words are a little bit more hard so like you know I don't know how to describe it but these this was like an easy read because the words just flowed so smoothly there are some books that you'll read that the words are a little bit more poetic or the words are a little bit more different that's the end of this video I hope you guys liked it like I say in every video make sure that you like comment share and subscribe and click that little notification bell so you get notifications of when I upload you can see more of me and more of my videos and more of my content like I said leave some of your book recommendations down below let me know how you thought about this book did you like it did you not like it yeah guys that is the end of the video I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video peace out <laughs>